Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone. Today I have a sort of chaotic December TBR and most of these are just books that I just on a whim felt like, you know what, I really want to read that. Kazi's barking. So I also have some books in here, a lot of them for the historical romance readathon. Like most of the books on this TBR are historical romance because that's just what I really feel like reading. A lot of the books that I didn't get to in my November TBR, which are like books in series that I'm trying to finish, I'm also going to try and read, but I'm not going to talk about those again since I already talked about them and I didn't finish all of them. So let's go ahead and just jump on into the books that I want to read. The first book in December that I want to make sure and mention is My American Duchess by Eloisa James. If you're wondering why is that book as big as your head, it is because I <laughs> was trying to find a copy of this book. I thought I found a mass market paperback. It was not disclosed to me that it was large print. And so now this is the copy that I have. <laughs> Am I sad about it? Yes. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's chunky. I mean, we have like this tiny little picture of a step back, which is not great, but <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I have I have a copy of the book. So this is actually the December pick for the Rake Appreciation Society, which is the historical romance book club that I do with my best little sis, Jen, from the Book Refuge. Our live show for this book will be on December 16th, which is a Thursday. We moved them to the third Thursday in December, mostly because of scheduling conflicts with our lives, but also because we wanted to give you a little more time to get to it. I feel like we've had a few recent people come into our book club and they're like, wait, why are you reading this in the middle of the month? So this will be on the third Thursday. It's December 16th, right? Yeah, December 16th at 6 p.m. MST on my channel. We're going to chat about this. I'm very excited very excited about this one. All right, so now let's talk about the books that I want to read for the Historical Romance Readathon that starts on December 6th. Now, I I know that, so everyone who is behind the Historical Romance Readathon, so Jess, Lacey, and Lisa, they do a great job of having a lot of different templates and a lot of fun things to do, and I... I am sort of, sometimes when I do readathons, I'm like, I want to read with everybody, but like, I don't, like, I don't want to, like, the idea of putting a TBR together based on, like, prompts and a bingo board, like, kind of causes me a lot of stress in a time when I'm already feeling stressed. So I decided to just go with one of the prompts that they had, and that was new to you, historical romance authors. That's one of the prompts on their bingo board, and I, I have a few other books on here that aren't new to me, but, 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 there are three, right? One, two, three, yes. Yeah. So I have three books on this TBR that are new to me historical romance authors that I'm really, really excited about, so we're going to talk about those, and the first one is Highland, Highlander's Captive. This is an independently published book. This is by Maria Stone, and I'm very excited about this. This is actually a time-traveling historical romance, so it's our heroine is in modern day, she ends up getting sucked back in time, and she is a descendant of this family, this clan, Scottish clan, who is rivals with our hero. So he sees her, he learns that her last name is the last name of his rival family, and he kidnaps her and captives her, captives her. <laughs> And obviously they fall in love. I think this sounds so fun. I think the cover is really, really beautiful. And I had not heard of this author or this book before I just happened to see it. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. I also want to say I put this on my wish list and Jess from Peace Love Books sent this to me. And I'm just so grateful for that. Thank you so much, Jess. So this is definitely happening. I can't wait to read this one. So another book that is from an author that is new to me that I have been wanting to read all freaking year. I swear, like I heard about this book very, very, very early on in this year, even though I, I think it's been out for a little while longer than that. And I've wanted to get to it ever since. And it is A Bride for the Prize Fighter by Alice Coldbreath. So this one is also pretty interesting. I think that our heroine comes to, or her father lets her know, I think on his deathbed, wow, I'm really bad at describing this. Okay, so the heroine goes to see her father on his deathbed and he drops this bombshell that he, she has a brother that he never, she never knew of. And he is coming to sort of rescue them from this vast amount of debt that they are now in. 
And then for some other reason, which is not clear to me in the description, she ends up going across the country. I'm not sure if she's trying to flee from her brother or what. And she ends up sort of thrown at the feet of this prize fighter, former prize fighter, Brutish William Nye, prize fighter and owner of a disreputable inn, the Mary Harlot. Respectable Mina is appalled to find herself obliged to wed this surly stranger. So I don't know exactly how that happens, but... I think this sounds really great. I've heard a little bit of muttering and buzzing about this, so it sounds unique. I've never read this author. I've heard good things about her, so we're going to try that one. Okay, the next book that I want to read is actually one that I heard talked about a while ago in a Facebook group. I think it was um, Sarah McLean's Facebook group, but this one is The Schoolmistress, and this is a book one in a new series. This is an American historical romance, which aren't my favorite unless they're Beverly Jenkins or Joanna Shoup. So I'm interested to see what I think about this one. But the basic plot of this is that our heroine is in Boston. She is trying to... Wow, again, I'm bad at this. She's trying to make some money to send back to her family in Boston. She ends up taking a job in Colorado to be a schoolmistress, mostly because the man who hired her is recently a widow and he has five children and he wants her to run this schoolhouse and teach his children in romance ensues. I heard some really good things about this. It sounds unique. I'd like to try it. I think it's a little different than normal. So we're going to try that one. This is another book that I want to for sure try and read for the historical romance readathon, even though this is not a new to me author. This is a different series from her though. This is my beloved Catherine Ash, who became an author that I really loved reading in this year that I found her and just fell in love with her. This is her independently published series. It is uh, sort of, so this is a little confusing. There are three books in this series. I can't find any really information about the third. There's a prequel that was written after this book. So you can either read them in chronological order or you can read them in a suggested reading order. And because my brain works this way, I'm like, I'm going to do this chronologic in chronological publication order. So the book I chose is My Lady, My Lord by Catherine Ash. And really all I know about this is we have a blue stocking and we have a rake and it sounds like the rakes, one of something he really loved to do was try and get under her skin a lot. Then, then they end up sort of forced to trade lives. I'm not entirely sure that how that's going to happen. It sounds like this series has a little bit of magic into it, so I'm very excited about that. I think this book sounds interesting, to say the least. I really am a fan of Catherine Ash, so hopefully I love this one. We're going to have that one in the Historical Romance Readathon TBR as well. And then another book that I really, really want to include in this readathon is a book that everybody's been telling me to read. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to read it. My best friend Jen from the Book Refuge sent me a physical copy of this book to read, and it is Devil's Bride. I have not read this book yet. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about that. This is also a new-to-me author, so we're going to include this in my historical romance readathon on TBR. So all of these are new-to-me authors, except the Catherine Ash, because I don't know why. I, I, I don't know the method to how I put this TBR together. I literally was just like, you know what? I want to read all these books. Here, they, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so a few other books that I really want to read in the month of December are The Bully and the Spy by Sophie Lark. I have been going through her backlist and reading as many books as possible, specifically so I could get to The Bully and the Spy, and the time is now here. I am ready, and I'm very, very, very excited for these. I want to read these for sure in December. These don't have audiobooks, so these might not both happen, but hopefully they will. Definitely The Bully for sure. So now I have a few books that I just was looking through, like series I wanted to finish, series I wanted to continue, and I realized I had these on my shelves, and so these are the books that I want to continue in a series, and one of those is The Sea King. This is by C.L. Wilson. This is a fantasy romance. I read The Winter King last year. Really, honestly enjoyed that quite a bit. I have heard that this is a little bit darker, that it potentially has trigger warnings in it, but I enjoyed the writing style and I think the cover is literally stunning. And it's a big chonky one, so I want to read this one. Another book that I want to read to finish is A Wallflower Christmas by Lisa Kleypas. 
I've been saving this book for Christmas and now it is here and I can read it and I'm so excited. So this one's definitely going to happen. It's a shorty too. Very excited about that one. Another series that I want to continue and hopefully finish is the Courtesan, not the Courtesan Duchess. I actually don't know the name of the series. Oh, it's the Wicked Deception series by Joanna Shoup. This is her only Regency romance series. This is the book two. It is the Harlot Countess. I think the cover is stunning. These books are out of print and very difficult to find. I'm still trying to track down the last one in the series, but very excited about this. Another book that I want to finish in a series. I've only read the first in this series, and it is The Leopard Prince by Elizabeth Hoyt. I love Elizabeth Hoyt. If you did not know, I am completely obsessed with her. I really loved the first book in the series. There are three other books in the series, two full books, and then I believe there's a no novella at the end. So I love Elizabeth Hoyt. I think I'm going to love this one. Very excited for it. And then this other book is also continuing on in a series that I'm very excited about, and it is Slightly Scandalous. This is book three in the Bedouin saga. This is not... This is too shiny. I just got these books. I just found the entire set on eBay for three dollars. I was so excited and very excited to read this one. This is book three. Love this series. Can't wait to read it. So... All right, there you have it. Those are some of the books that I want to read for December in a very loose historical romance readathon TBR. I do have my historical romance readers club hoodie on by Hello Lovely Box because, you know, it's gotta be festive for historical romance. So I'm excited about these books. If you see any on this list that I talk about that you desperately want me to read, please let me know. Otherwise, feel free to leave me any type of winter emoji, whether it's uh, snowflake or snowman or even something Christmas would be okay. Thanks so much, my friends. I'll see y'all in my next video.